Welcome to 15 Minutes of Game. The first 15 minutes of any game are of vital importance, not only because they set the tone, but also because that is the refund window for Android apps. At the end of the 15 minutes, I have to decide whether I keep it or hit the refund button. So let's find out what happens when we give it its 15 minutes of game. The Enchanted Cave is what we're looking at today. Now, I did not expect to like The Enchanted Cave, but it won me over, and rather quickly at that. Now, it does have looks rather reminiscent of the early Final Fantasy games. That same oblique projection style, the same walls, you know, very similar. Now, in this, your goal is to get down to level 100, or should say floor, 100, which might be easier if you weren't so weak, but you do get stronger. As you delve deeper, you'll gain stat bonuses, equipment, and relics. Now, one thing that is interesting that you'll notice pretty quickly is that the stairway behind you disappears, so the only way to get back to a safe area is with an item called Escape Wings that you don't find until you hit level 4 and below. But, when you use those said escape wings to get out of dodge, you do lose, well, pretty much everything. Except for your stat bonuses and the relic items that you pick up. Now this does set you back just a little bit, but I think just enough to be interesting. Every time you go down to Floor 1, you're going down to a slightly different Floor 1, but nonetheless one that is peopled with monsters. Now, if you thought that uh, escaping was rough on you and your stats, just try dying, because you will lose everything since your last successful escape with a pair of escape wings. For movement, you just tap on a square, and it'll automatically pathfind you there. And since the enemies are stationary, it will automatically pathfind, if possible, a way around. Failing that, you can always pick the path of least resistance. And if you're trying to get to a chest or set of stairs, hey, you can go for the weak ones without being worried of the other monsters ganging up on you. It's when you move into an enemy square that you begin fighting, and you rather quickly learn which enemies are the ones to attack and which ones are the ones to avoid. Ouch, that one hurt. Now more testing is going to be needed to see if this game keeps up the pleasant feel by the time I get to level 99, or I should say floor 99 or so, or if it starts to feel like drudgery. But at 99 cents, it's very well worth the risk, and at the end of 15 minutes, I was still very much invested. As such, I've decided to keep this one around, and I think you should too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and if you have, a comment or a like would be most appreciated. It's your feedback that lets me know how to best allocate my time in the things that you want to see. If you click on any of the links around here, you'll be taken to a playlist with more of that particular brand of madness. And be sure to subscribe so that you can always be the first to know when I have some new content out. Thanks again, and see you around.